Hello, bees bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. Today we're gonna do a quick unboxing. It's not gonna be an elongated. <laughs> It's not gonna be a fast one. No, it's gonna be a slow one. No, it's not gonna be a slow one. It's gonna be a quicker one because this is a brand and a model that we're all familiar with. But of course, they came out with a new configuration. I wanna share it with you to make sure you know there's a new configuration. Boss Seed always comes in nice packaging one way or another. Look at this. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today because I am, I'm excited. I have a lot of cool things going on. The live stream was last night. We always have so much fun at the live stream and I'm still amped from it and I can't wait till next week. Now, are you ready? This is a new version of the Vostied Raccoon. Would you look at it? I mean, just look at it. It's so different. <laughs> it's the raccoon we all know and love, but this has aluminum scales. And I believe there are two or three different colors of the raccoon with the aluminum scales. And if you're not familiar with the raccoon, oh my goodness, I have several videos showing them. I have a whole collection of them. There's a bunch of them. We're just gonna run through a couple of the really cool things about the raccoon. Now this one in particular, check it out. Pow, right in the kisser. Let me wipe this off. It comes well lubed from the factory. This is a stonewash blade. And I have to say that the aluminum handle feels very, very nice on this one. And I'll set a couple other versions down just in case, because every time I have a video, I can't assume that the person watching the video has seen the same knife when I've showed it in other videos. So here is one version. This is a button lock version with the micarta. Then you have this frag micarta up here. And now we have the aluminum, which the aluminum kind of gives it a premium feel. You know how kind of you get that premium feel when you have titanium? This aluminum, um, it weighs, I'm gonna say it weighs, oh, it definitely weighs more than these two versions. So the, more than the micarta and probably more than the G10 version. I don't have a G10 version on the table. And you know what? I'm gonna grab one just because. And when I said that there's many versions, uh, there are more versions of the Vostied Raccoon than you can throw a stick at. Here's one example, yellow G10. You can get white G10 and see this is a white G10 with a button lock. This is a yellow or kind of a mustard G10 with the crossbar lock. So you could pick your poison if you like a crossbar lock or if you like a button lock better. Now, weight wise, this one I'm uh, is about close to the G10, but this one's going to be heavier than the other ones. And we'll get a weight on it here in just a second. Now the action. Okay. We have good blade retention. My blade is not bouncing out on me. I'm getting, I get a little bounce out. If I get really happy with it and come back too hard, I do get bounce out, which I, that I wish the string springs on most button locks were just a little bit stronger or whatever they did with the internals on the inside there. Now you can see it has good lockup. Let's see. It's solid left and right, up and down. It's a very solid feeling knife. And it, you know, I'm kind of liking this weight. The raccoons, all those other raccoons are very lightweight. This one feels a little more substantial in the hand and we will get a quick wait here right now. There are a lot of Vostied users and Vostied Raccoon owners that collect them like I do that'll wanna know the differences. So the weight of this one is coming in at 3.79 ounces. Then you get a G10 version and that's gonna come in at 3.43 ounces. And let's get a micarta version. A micarta is coming in at 3.21 ounces. So there you can see your weight differences. This knife overall comes in at about seven and a half inches and then your sharpen length is about 2.9 inches. So it's coming in at less than the three inch mark at the heel. Now just going from one end down to the other. This one, does this one have the 14C? This one has, oh, Nitro V baby, Nitro V blade steel. And I like that black stone wash. The stone wash looks cool. This is a very useful blade. Your point is up here. You can still get some utility work done in and Man, it, this is very crispy, very clean. I like that they have the filler tab for the pocket clip and the pocket clip is deep-ish carry. You do have a little bit showing out of your pocket, not much. The clip works very well, it's low profile. If you have some jeans on, sometimes you have to tighten your jean pocket to get it to clip clip onto there. But these, uh, let's see, these scales, the, you do have liners on the inside. They are nested liners with a little bit of weight reduction going on, a very clean backspacer. And this one does, does they don't have, oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> it has a lanyard hole for all you lanyard lovers. So you're set with that. Now the ergos on this one are, oh yeah, they're buttery. They are very good. You have a little bit of jimping up here. It is adequate. It does a good job. A little bit of micro jimping. 
The micro jimping does work. It helps lock my hand into place. And because it doesn't have a flipper, you don't have a flipper sticking out here. So you can get right up in here and see how this notch right here, your middle finger just kind of locks you in for doing some push cuts. This is such a fantastic knife. It's no wonder when a company comes out with a knife that works this well, and you can tell that it's a good knife when they make many, many different versions of it, different configurations of it, because they knew and they know that they hit a home run. And this is an ambidextrous knife, so if you're right-handed or left-handed, you're good to go. You can carry it in either pocket. That's a major, major plus with me, is when I'm able to carry it in both pockets, because I carry a knife in both of my pockets, and it is a safer to have have the knife facing outwards towards the edge of the seam of your pants rather than on the inside just to avoid any mistakes of somehow a blade becoming open and then putting your hand in your pocket like that that you do not want to happen and I've learned my lesson on that so just in case you didn't know public service announcement if you're going to have it in your right pocket you want the blade facing the seam that way if you go down in your pocket to get anything that blade no matter what always ensures that it's that it's shut and if you have it in your left pocket you'll want to reverse the clip and then you'll never have something bad like that happen but this is the new raccoon uh, I will have links in the description and in the pinned comment section of this video and make sure that you are subscribed because people, some folks are like, eh, I don't care. I don't subscribe. The videos still pop up anyway. Well, here's what you miss. If you're not subscribed, you don't get notifications and the notification you want to get is before the live stream, a half an hour before we do the live stream every Friday night, bees blades live at the hive. Oh, right. You don't want to miss it because besides all of the fun and we're on for three plus plus hours every Friday night, starting at 8.15 Eastern time, we give away a lot of stuff. And if you want to see all the knives that we gave away just this past Friday, you can go and look at the live section, the live tab on Bee's Blades, and you can go watch the replay and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I want to get in on that. But I hope you enjoyed checking these out and checking out the newest version with the aluminum scales and go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you in the lives or the comments of this video, or after you've hit the thumbs up button to support the channel, Channel. Remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.